Breaking the Wall of Textile Waste. Jaime Celedon, Falling Walls Lab, Chile. There are two numbers that we need to be aware of concerning climate change. The first one is 51 billion, and the second one is zero. 51 billion is the amount of tons of greenhouse gases that the world emits into the atmosphere every year. And zero is the number that we have to reach to avoid a climate collapse. And to get there, we need to know that the products of the second most polluting industry in the world, after the oil industry, are always with us, touching our bodies right now. Yes, it's your clothes. It's the textile industry, which relies on the cheap manufacturing, the frequent consumption, and the short-lived use of clothing. Take a look here. Just to produce this T-shirt, 2.6 kilograms of CO2 were released into the atmosphere. The same CO2 emitted by traveling 40 kilometers by train. 2,700 liters of water were needed, enough water for a person to live for at least two years and a half. And finally, we will have it for another 200 years until it's decomposition, just for one T-shirt. We will have to plant all the United States with trees to absorb only two-thirds of the CO2 produced by mankind. We don't have much time, and we are running out of space. But what if we try to be just like a tree? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Infinia, the T-shirt that absorbs CO2 while releasing oxygen into the atmosphere. This T-shirt is bioprinting with microalgae, photosynthetic organisms that tolerate high concentration of CO2. They don't require cultivable lens and can grow up to 50 times faster than terrestrial plants. Thus, the CO2 that they capture change the color, dyeing the T-shirt, replacing harmful chemicals used nowadays at the same time that purifying the air around us, just like a tree. And by microencapsulating these cells in sustainable fibers, we can ensure the optimal conditions for the bio garment, turning it into a carbon zero T-shirt, besides being biodegradable. So if you don't need it anymore, just plant it, whatever you are, having to wait months instead of centuries for its decomposition. But yes, maybe we can be just like a tree. Maybe we can plant all of them in the next years, but maybe we can plant one seed of consciousness in each piece of our cloud. <coughs> Thank you.